Hello my friends, welcome to the first proper episode of Let's Play Simon the Sorcerer. For any of you who don't know or didn't read the description of my last video, this game was made in 1990, well released in 1993. This game is older than I am by about 7 months. So, but all the same, it's a fantastic game, I grew up on it. Simon, the main protagonist of this series, is voiced by the great Chris Barry. If you've watched Red Dwarf, you know how amazing he is, or anything else he's been in. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I'm a massive fan of Red Dwarf. This game is hilarious, it's got some amazing dialogue, and you'll see. Okay, as you can see, being a point and click, we've got a snazzy do everything with everything, and we've got a little inventory slot kind of thing here and that will fill up with various things as we get them. So the first thing we need to do in uh, Calypso's house here is open this drawer which after Simon's put his old-fashioned walkman away we shall do. Oh look! There's a pair of scissors in here! We're gonna pick up these scissors. I'm really excited for this game incidentally if you can't tell because I grew up in this game. There's some lines in this game which I still quote to this day and it is brilliant. There is nothing else we need to get from here. There's the wizard stuff and various other things here, but we can go outside for now. So that's all good. We can go behind the cottage here, but again, we don't need to do that. And I want to keep this not too lengthy a process since I know how to actually play this game. So yeah. There's a blacksmith here, but first we need to pick up this. No one will rope. miss this old thing. Indeed. No one will miss an old rope. Uh, and we can also pick up the clapper off the table here. It was never designed to be opened. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to open it. It's silly me. Um, I want to pick up the clapper. Sorry. See, the game's already criticising me. You can try and open the forge door, but it's locked. It's locked, and you can try and talk to the blacksmith, but good morning. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. So yeah, this is running off a CD by the way, so if there's a bit of delay in animations and whatnot, then that's why. This guy here, um, we can have some fun dialogue with him, but we'll come and talk to him in a minute as we go back through this area. For now, we need to pick up this ladder, because apparently Simon's hat is in an extra dimensional space. But, strangely enough, going on that thing, we can't pick it's up a wire. It's too big, but the ladder isn't course. Never mind. Well, anyway, let's go into this cottage here. This cottage is at the moment empty, but will not be later as far as I remember. We need to pick up the cold remedy off this table, and we also need to pick up the specimen jar from up here. Oh, the music, the soundtrack in this game is brilliant as well. You will see what I mean when we get to certain areas like the forest. That music just makes me quiver with happiness. It's so good. I didn't explain, by the way. Um, we have three items which we start the game with. The map, which is basically a fast travel kind of thing. If we use it, then it allows us to travel between different areas of the game, which is fantastically useful since there is quite a bit of backtracking in this game. But as we see at the moment, all we can do is go to the village. I kind of wish I hadn't done that now, because uh, I don't want to go to... Well, we're kind of in the village, but I want to be where I am at the moment. Never mind. We'll do it anyway. Um, I don't want to come out here, that was a thing, really. Uh, uh, we've got the postcard, which basically allows us to save, load, continue, and quit. We shall save here, and call it LP1. And then we've got Calypso's note, which Simon read out at the beginning, or, oh, at the end, sorry, of the last one. Anyway, let's go talk to the dodgy geezer in the fez, because he's cool. You interested in any mm, priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? This game is full of references, incidentally. Uh, sorry if you've got any hint books for this game. Oh, and it frequently breaks the 4-4, which is also amazing. Have you got any hint books for this game? Sorry, sold the last one five minutes ago. I've got lots of other stuff, though. Damn it. I could really have done with a uh, hint game. Let's have a look, then. Anything on the mat is yours for only one gold piece. 
See anything takes your fancy? Uh, you got any magical Not really. stuff? Have you got any magical stuff? But of course I have. For the right price. Firstly, there's a strength potion. Watch. I don't trust this guy. Genuine, long-lasting, fast-acting strength potion. Yours for only ten gold pieces. Um. All right, five gold pieces. I don't have any money. Well, <laughs> three gold pieces then. But that's the last I go. What do you say? I've changed my mind about magical stuff. That was the last of it anyway. Do you see anything else interests you? I don't think this guy actually sells anything because um. No. He always has just sold out Goodbye. things. Who no needs your custom anyway? Fine. Oh, we're going. I don't need your custom. Or you. I'm not going to give you my money because I have none, and you don't deserve it anyway. You smarmy you git. Right. Let us go east. We'll ignore the shop for now. We'll coming back here later, but we should be travelling out of the village fairly soon, at least for now. This is when we look at the sign instead of walking to it. Apparently the place is called the Drunken Druid. Which is an excellent name, incidentally, and anyone who ever wants to run a pub or inn or whatever, call it the Drunken Druid, because that would make me a happy man. Right. Uh, we've got a dwarf here who is asleep by the looks of things. He looks completely out of it. Yeah. Well, we're going to use our first legitimate thing now. We're going to use the scissors on the dwarf. Don't worry, we're not going to like behead him. We're just going to snip his beard off. Which is great because we're going to need that later, as you will see. We also need to pick up the matches off this fruit machine, which can quite easily be missed because it's like a bunch of like six pixels or something stupid. There's a few people we can talk to in here. The barman is a very talkative fellow. Uh, we'll talk to him quickly. Good morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Uh. Makes me a wet wizard, barkeep. Hang on a moment. Mm. We'll try and get a drink. I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. Beer Where is it? Which is Oh, Helen Buckshot. <laughs> Some foreshadowing. I'm sorry, for later. sir. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. <laughs> Anything else, sir? Uh. Good day, nah. barkeep. Good day, lad. Since we've made through progress through this fairly quickly, we shall walk into the other back room of here because these guys are brilliant. So I'm the East Wind, right? I thought I was the East Wind. You're a southern breeze, I think. I think we're all winds. I'd rather be a breeze than a wind. You can lose your hat in a wind. What you do is tie it on with a piece of string. It rubs against your chin, though. It can give you a nasty rash. These guys are brilliant. I'm just going to sit here and listen to Where them. Where did this game come from, anyway? That short man with the strange eyes gave it to us, remember? Well, we didn't have to pay for it. A nice man, though, as I recall. Very clever with his, uh, wok, wasn't he? That thing looked really sharp. I wouldn't dare mess with it. I wanted to meet his confused friend he was always on about. He wasn't confused. He was called Confusion or something. Judging by some of the things he is supposed to have said, he sounded pretty confused. I had a friend who was confused one. Never, never saw him again. Let's have another go at this game then. Anyone who's I'm played a board game knows exactly what this is poles. like. Excuse me. Yes, boy. I'm looking for some wizards. I'm looking for some wizards. Know where I can find some? I ain't be seeing any round these parts, like. We be us humble farmers who are. Who <laughs> are? That'd be right. I'd be about as magical as a run of bean, like. So you sure you're not wizards? You sure you're not wizards? Quite sure, lad. We be country folk, born in wholemeal bread. Who are? Are you saying we be fakes, like? Yes, because you don't convince me whatsoever. Yep. 
What makes you think we're a wizard anyway, you like? This is my favorite line, possibly, of the whole game. When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, <laughs> I suppose. Disguise is off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? I want to be a wizard. You? A wizard? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> my dear boy, you can't just jump into wizardry just like that. Why not? It requires years of study. Mm. Come back next century when you're older. God damn it. You know, I wonder where old Calypso could be. I'll talk to him again. Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy? I want to be a wizard. I want to be a wizard. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. Damn it. So the prevailing wind... Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy? Make me a wizard or I'll cry. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. There is actually a dialogue option which gets Where us somewhere Where did you here. say we were? Listen to me for a second. Um, yes, I just left that one until last because for some other amusing choices. I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Yep. Anything. Well, you could do us a little favour. You see, all new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mm, yeah, that's right. Sounds a bit dubious Absolutely. to me. Absolutely. Eh? Just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. Hmm. It's a magical star for him to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. Because they can't get it themselves, clearly. And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last owner was Nathlin, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. Tricky types, those necromancers, always messing about with embalming, fluid and giblets. Top fisted sod was probably buried with it. No, no problem. problem. We look forward to your return. So, we have our first right. quest, have although we we're about as misinformed as we can possibly be. Luckily, I know what I'm doing, and although this game seems a bit kind of like, well, as the problem with a lot of point and clicks are, it's just you use everything on everything until something happens. This game has logical solutions to its puzzles, at least. Okay, so we're gonna go west here and venture into the woods. And I'll just let you listen to the music for a bit, because it's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful music. Right, anyway, sorry, I'll stop just going into super relaxed mode there. I shall call this episode a day here, and next time we shall venture further into the woods. Hope you've enjoyed this series, guys. Uh, well, this episode is, I'm very much looking forward to this series. It will be great, I guarantee you. This game is brilliant, hilarious, and incredibly, incredibly clever. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.